just got a little sleep and uh, I'm about to go about the day and uh, this room here, this room from father, this is the best room. Because... Probably about 80% of the time whenever police investigators, whenever MK Ultra step members from a United States of America also from Great Britain all kinds of people Russians Polish the most for the most part Americans from abroad including people like Tom Cruise you know Tom Cruise a lot of these famous actors from Hollywood, they use them to literally measure, to see exactly the impact of what Prince Harry feared to me is, it's going to be less and less and less and less sleep, you know, he said. And then there will be no sleep at all. And really, man, for the last seven years, this was like a four hours of sleep a day if you would draw like average and, and that sleep was like American told me it's going to be like sleeping next to a very very loud dam you know 24 7 and then what's going to happen is he stated me Prince Harry stated me in 2015 how my death is going to be described he said to me and yeah, what's going to be both William and Harry would also like this sleep next to me. They wanted to know exactly how much of the progress police have made in respect to health damage. How much can I hold on? How much can I survive? Am I dangerous enough for them on, uh, on the long term? And then the only thing that he stated is going to be that uh, your body, that, that organ will fail. And I think the organ he failed to was the liver. Either it was liver or it was kidney. And the only thing that's going to happen, he said, is going to, your body is going to enter in a shock, in a state of shock. And very soon you're going to be dead. That's how they described. But this is not the video about... Uh, issue concerning my health this is the video actually dedicated to the princess Byra Kitty Appa in the Thai royal family and also to the Thailand so I want to really I I I, I was I was so disturbed uh, it, it was such an interesting experience I have gone through uh, in respect to um, memories from Thailand for which I was sure I was so sure for these memories that it all started in 1995 uh, 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 aboard the cruise line Meridian cruise line you know but it's not like this yeah uh, yeah I did previously indicated that Prince Bumibol uh, excuse me that MK Ultra started in 91 uh, uh, MK Ultra started in 1990 actually in Moscow. It's where people from Slovenia would travel from Ljubljana, and along the people from Ljubljana it would be also Berger Mira, Berger Miroslav, neighbor here, Igor Kotar, a physician, and they would deliver me to Russians as an interesting specimen. Uh, to study and then actually to even a little bit more study you know, subjected me in 1992 exactly as I have described already yesterday I would refer to that like uh, other than really lymphoma cancer basically infested me at a really young age I see now with the cancer totally unlikely I would get one 
but all right. Uh, it, yeah, I I am actually quite speechless in in respect to the Russian procedures. In this is Russia. What can we do? It's a Russia. Um, what I want to say is, um, a local here from Novomis, Tatsanich is his name, Goras Tatsanich was my boxing trainer, was trying to convince me that a cancer in my left arm, during an MK Ultra, the police had him, he tried to convince me it was because of the boxing. Uh, because of big, big boxing style I had and so on. And they were trying to convince me that it was because of the one guy we were doing some punching in the school with him uh, and so on. It, it's exactly what I stated. It was done in the Moscow. It was done in the Moscow hospital. Uh, and this is just the way it is. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter. This is not the video about this stuff. But what's why this room is so beautiful really i love this room i don't think that anybody's sane would sleep in here but 80 percent of the time whenever they would sleep over with me exactly measuring during the sleep i told you seven years i was 24 7 seven years minimum let's just suppose it was 25 percent i was drugged up 25 percent of the time how about if it was 50 percent of the time i remember the time flew past me like you wouldn't even fucking believe and this beast mk ultra 30 years it lasted 30, zero, 30 years. You know what the 30 years is? That's why I'm saying what I'm saying. This is not a regular thing. In Moscow, next to all the people, American presidents, British royals, <sighs> it's a possibility Narendra Modi was very very early man i like narendra modi but here's the thing what i want to say um i was told by narendra modi that's why i think that narendra modi was maybe just as early as Bo king bumibol from thailand I'm going to explain to you how early King Bumibol from Thailand and who King Bumibol from Thailand was. <laughs> and Narendra Modi insisted me that I have to come to Moscow always, drugged up, that they all started like this. He insisted me, this is like a super veteran, this is like a super Illuminati veteran, Narendra Modi, Indian Prime Minister. Uh, he insisted me, that's why I anticipate that this man might have been in Moscow already in 90, as early as in 1990, this Indian diplomat. This is a huge, huge, huge person involved in MKUltra. Uh, and, um, uh, and he, he, he was my friend during MKUltra, who, who, because of whom I also was keep coming back during MK Ultra uh, at a, such a young age. Uh, you know, I, I was like 20 years old when I was subjected to MK Ultra, delivered from Slovenia to Moscow. And he told me, "You will get wealthy," because I wanted to know what the fuck was the what's the goal what's the idea about all this why the hell are you bringing me in there what for i mean what's in it for me and and it was about i i was interested in money you know like everybody else would be because what, what do you do you know you you become a graduate you have a good school uh you have windows of opportunities uh and you find yourself in a circumstances like this like a part-time you know 
next to your work. Uh, and I wanted to know what's in it for me. And he said to me, he said to me, Narendra Modi said to me, probably already since 1990 was Narendra Modi. If Narendra Modi was not participated in 1990, he participated definitely in 1991, began to participate. You know. uh, he said to me, if you will last long enough, you know what I mean? If you're going to be in this environment, even drugged up, like we all started like this, then you will become wealthy. Then you will make money. It will be for you. It, you will have life, some future, something like people on like a global stage, you know, around people like this, you will have something, obviously, right? And so I actually didn't even mind really those trip to Moscow till the Russians literally performed a butchery in uh, in a Moscow hospital and that one they did in 1992 started with this pictures from Auschwitz and from Dachau uh, torture me torture me and then demonstrate me the pictures from people from Dachau and have associated themselves uh, in front of me to uh, for me to reject them you know uh, like would you want to associate with somebody that is torturing you probably not even if he is on a postcard uh from a dachau you see him he's posing on a picture even like this you would not accept one he only tortured you this is how it all started the platform for this was given in moscow all this and then they took this to slovenia the first one of the first individuals the first individual this got implicated against me was a serb who unlikely was a serb this is a serb who lives in a nova mesto and this serb is from an area in bosnia where majority of the population is either croat or bosnian whatever that area is yeah he was by age exactly 45 i will tell you in the year 1992 and he was the one who took this violence from moscow it started in moscow to slovenia and started to create the personality mk ultra personality which russians have assigned him with together uh, as, uh, alongside novo mesto police but this isn't the video about this shit. This is about me identifying a grandfather of Princess Baira Kitty Abba, uh, Narandira, Naran, Naran, Narandira Baira uh, Kitty Abba. I am not gonna, ne, Narandira, Narandira, Narandira ba, Baira Kitty Abba. Um, and the girl that entered, officially entered, a coma um, due to problems with the heart you could refer them also to as arrhythmia uh, well they are presenting like a heart failure and so on and something I was prompted in 2008 since it appeared 100% certain that after three years of war with the uh, Thailandese royals, with whom I no longer wanted to have anything to do with, uh, the two of us will get married because she convinced me, it took but three years for her one time to convince me that uh, actually to get my interest back on a track. It was three years. And that three years, 
the Thai Royals were completely on a toast because they completely lost me. I was like, I became actually evil. I started to uh, look during MK Ultra on ways how to humiliate and how to fuck them for everything they have done to me, all the evil. And the e list of evil till 2005 was so long, it was so bad, that at one point when they told me that uh, it was a police investigator from normal man so that used a silicon mask, and a silicon mask of uh, Prince Charles, and he stated me that prior to arrival of uh, Maha Bairanga Korn, father of Princess Bairi Kitiaba, father, her father, he told me uh, that a Thai royals have complained to him. Man, you have no idea the degree of torture I have gone through for these people just so these people could earn money from British royals. Uh, the degree of torture I have gone through for these people to prove love for this princess Bairikiti Abba to her father, Maha Bairangankorn, and grandfather Bumibol. You have no idea. Now, as for the Thailand, uh, the torture went on beginning 1995. Insane torture started in 1995 whenever brought to Thailand. Uh, for like probably four years when I told father Maha Vairlangan Korn uh, that I no longer want to have anything with Thailand. I haven't seen the connection between the Thailand anymore. He was using and abusing me, insisting me uh, that I have to endure the torture to prove myself a loyalty that I have to prove them. And was using me for espionage domestically through Thailand with his father, Bumibol, and also in area. And boy, after four years, I couldn't take this violence anymore. And King Maha Bailangan Korn, son of Bumibol, therefore of grandfather of Princess Bairakiti Abba, told me, now we only have to take one more thing, and that's basically for you to acknowledge the same thing as you acknowledge for Thailand also for my daughter Bairakiti Abba. And torture went on and on and on with her committing a lot of betrayals, including a new boyfriend she got herself throughout the university, through the college, uh, started to officially even date one in 2001. This is just the way it is. This is what that car, probably two, in year 2000, this is what that fucking driver license she got, did. Um, King Bumibol, father of King Maha Phailangan Korn, who became king of Thailand in 2016, was uh, what, I, what I considered, for, for me, for, from my point of view. Because for these people that gathered in Moscow, it was just a, you know, a regular procedure, you know? It was just a regular procedure, like politicians, you know. But I, myself, uh, I have taken a different stand because of Ukraine, also because of Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, uh, countries in the Balkans, um, because of Poland, because of the Czech Republic, 
because of Eastern Europe in general. Uh, and to me, the foremost important was, and it's interesting now that somebody like this at age 20 already, it's like this, aware like that, uh, it was their well-being. Because I, I, I grew up during this Serbian greater Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia here in Slovenia. And this was everything but my homeland. Uh, this is not, I mean, this the atmosphere in Yugoslavia, this is just um, impossible to describe in people. It was, it was just something that, it was like a, it was like a death hanging over you. I mean, shadow, like a dark shadow that hang over our lives, basically. Uh, life was okay, interacting with one another from here, but, you know, everywhere was this other present, uh, you know, this, you had to acknowledge it was a presence of evil that was everywhere somehow. And, uh, you know, this evil didn't have any kind of mercy uh, about anybody. And it was a lot of people that suffered fate, a bad fate because of issues like this. That's a typical occupation, how I would see this stuff as. Um, King Bumi Ball. And this might be very disappointing for the Princess Baira Kitty Abba. And because she's got a problem with the heart, I want to warn you that this video for you is not going to end well if you ever cared about me. It, not, it will not end well. So just I'm letting you know that, that um, and her sister... Siri Vanavari also who claimed was interested in me. So I'm just warning you ahead so that you're not going to be, because it's going to be obscene language I'm going to use at the end of this video. Be prepared about it, you know. Uh, this, this is a video about your grandfather whom you wanted me to identify, your grandfather Bumibor. Bumibor was longer on the picture than... Uh, than then uh, uh, Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, you know, because he was longer in the picture, because I liked him so much. But in reality, he was not longer on the picture, probably. But... For me, he was longer on the picture because all I wanted to is to imprint during this MK Ultra memories that, that would keep me going. I'm just such an optimist, basically, that everything that was no good, I just set apart and just march forward. Basically, this is the way it is. And so, um, the only thing that happened was... Um, I even got in trouble with Narendra Modi because he didn't side with me because he he was not my soulmate, basically. But the soulmate, a real soulmate that I had, uh, like you would go and serve in the military and you would have a soulmate, the two would risk heads out there on the front, uh, not knowing from one day to another, depend on one another, if would live uh, to see one more day, that what I considered was a boomy ball, king boomy ball. I had no fucking idea this guy was a king boomy ball. That he was a king. I learned about it. He was a king because this was an important person. This was some important person. For me, in my mind, he was just a soldier. In my mind, this man was just a soldier. He earned status of soldier, this guy. Uh, and he earned the status of a soldier because of British royals, whom I have represented. That's what's in my head, was that I represented Western values 
uh, West European Union, NATO, uh, and uh, the one I would uh, I could always count on would be on my side that sided with me. You know, sided with me just to get you in a deeper trouble. There are two ways you can side with somebody. You can side with somebody to support him unconditionally, or you can side also with him to make him more and more crazy, extreme, in certain ways, beliefs, I should say, so that the other side can use those at its advantage. That's what Boomy Ball was, really. This was really King Boomy Ball, you know. Uh, he earned in my head status of soldier. He earned in my head what I stated, and uh, uh, I, I would I would frequently forget uh, who he is, and would ask British royals, uh, "Who the hell is this guy again?" I mean, because the only it didn't matter to me. What mattered to me was that I exactly what I explained a little earlier. He was my soulmate. That's what mattered to me. This was like. Okay, the two best classmates, you know, when you just are inseparable in that sense. That's how I envision him. That's how it all started in 1990. Because they brainwashed me later. First one was uh, Japan that joined the Illuminati Club. The second one was uh, Thailand. Uh, and then it was India and so on. And then China. No, no, no. This is this is this is not the way it was. It's like this. Yeah, that's why I love this. Room. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people would not. But I do. That's that's the reason why I love this room. Yeah. So, uh, uh, his granddaughter. Princess Baira Kitty Abba demanded from me to identify the grandfather, you know, to explain who the grandfather is. But this video has them, like I stated, a bad end. Uh, and I'm going to try to cut short obscene language I would use. Uh, but for what Pi Royals have committed, and I finally feel clean about myself because this girl totally, totally, uh, she, 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 she did so many things that in MK Ultra that that it just somehow grew in my heart. Uh, but I want to say to you, it, it was really, really hard for me to recall all this stuff, and and I was trying to apologize her in my life no matter what and, and this memory is just least that that, that is, this, this is no good this is like the worst i think family that was involved in mkh i don't think it was worse people than people from thailand royal thai family that were involved in mkh uh, it, it was nothing other than betrayal and in 2016, when King Bumibol parted from me, uh, he cursed me one more time anyways, and that was it, basically. Uh, and it really was, because they couldn't kill me inside of the psychiatric hospital, because I survived the psychiatric hospital, uh, and was determined to march forward. After 26 years, he knew me throughout MK Ultra, and um, he felt so dirty about himself that he got a death certificate written in his name, rather than to meet me in person, rather than to what he claimed always he wanted to recognize me. Um,
Like I said, I don't want to use obscene language. I don't want to do this. Um, but I am certain that both granddaughters knew. I might have even explained them this already during MK Ultra in not a good language. Uh, These people are not worth it, my piss. If you understand, and for me to explain what these people did, these people had nothing compared to what they have today. They started with $85 million in 1995. And they ended up with whatever they are writing throughout the media, and it's probably more than that, uh, to over 40 billion, whatever. But the worst thing they committed was with a princess Bayre Kiriaba and her father Maha Bayerlanga Korn were laughing in my face when I was inside of the psychiatry hospital and I posted on this poor page on a Facebook and my blog uh, like a little donation link that I am in this kind of situation and financial help is helpful in this and that because they block everything video view counters they block everything everything you can possibly do to person it wasn't about employment anymore or anything like this but they, they totally wanted to destroy me through discredit to, through discredit in me you know <laughs> how I hang in there uh, on a little knit like this I don't understand myself really uh, and that must have anger in 2016 a king boomy ball enough to write himself a death certificate yeah it's what is to people that have secret banking Swiss accounts, investments throughout the South America, uh, houses in various European countries and are with one foot uh, ready to run from their country. Uh, another set there to collect more and so on and so forth. Not much. So... What I'm going to say to you is that now when I know who your grandfather is, your flesh and your blood, is that I would not consider you to have, you're not worth it really anything other than procedure at the court, at an international tribunal. You are just, just, um, I said to myself last night, I said to myself, as there was only one thing I hoped for whenever I was in Thailand, really. Most of the time. I hoped for, you know, I could, I could, I could wake up from the nightmare, basically. If you go and you treat a person like this in a, such a way, in a most despicable way, uh, to what King Maha Bairangan Korn and the mother of Princess Bairikitiaba, Sam Savili, stated me, uh, it's a game we always win. You know, we always win the game. You know, it's a game we always win. Sorry, it's it's a waste of my battery on the laptop. Uh, Narendra Modi, <laughs> interesting enough, whom at times I was really, really angry. With. I was really angry sometimes at, at Narendra Modi. And uh, I labeled him as a, you know, once I labeled you, it was just a 
cross over you, and I don't want it to, to have anything to do with it. Uh, I don't want to go into the issue who is better and who is worse than this and that, but sometimes things are not the way they seem to be. And under MK Ultra, really, nothing really is the way it seemed to be. Uh, I would advise anybody to not even think about doing anything like this because it's it's uh you you can see how it all ends, how it all ended, how this stuff developed, how it all went. I mean, for the worst part, you are totally on your own with yourself with God only on your side, if he is on your side. Uh, and for the worst part, when I'm talking about the worst part, it's 90% that is that worst part. It's just those 10% for them to keep you in the game. That's women and that kind of stuff, so that you keep your mouth shut. Uh, you don't stress. You are you are not realistic about what goes on. They have this stuff to eat your brain. Not only ECT, electroconvulsive therapy, as they refer to one as, but it's all kinds of shit they use to make your brain softer and softer and softer. Of which the most efficient, if you are a straight male. I would say are females, just your basic needs, basically, uh, to just drown you, basically, uh, like to prevent your defense mechanism from responding properly. Uh, and then it's again difficult to say what is proper, you know, what's properly, I mean, when they involved the psychiatrist that, that threatened you for saying you just gonna disappear inside of the psychiatric institution when they bring you beginning day one into the home for elderly people uh, and uh, into the buildings for the people with the special needs and they terrorize you like this it's very difficult to stress basically publicly what goes on because you you are in slovenia you know in yugoslavia people just fucking disappeared i mean this is this is this is not united states of america americans alone acknowledge that in slovenia to go about in united states of america over the course of the time because they copied here in slovenia how things <laughs> developed in this supposedly independent nation finally uh, the things also deteriorated in america it's also not the same anymore and it really is thanks to this case when it comes to psychiatry when it comes to all this stuff they do a lot of bad stuff now to people in the united states of america too but back then i don't think they did the situation deteriorated enormously because of this russian influence you don't understand fully your Russian influence. Your Russian influence took over all parts of your life. And it really did not improve on so much. But, you know, United States of America, again, uh, what started with Richard Nixon, uh, it actually ended in, in 94 with Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan both convincing me that it's the best for ukrainian side to just give finally give in uh their nuclear arsenal to russia so me i was the last party involved in it who finally gave the okay in fact i was even instructed so they could video record themselves to take initiative in it uh to either uh present issue in front of on behalf of Ukrainian side to, as the best option uh, to remain in the game 
as they refer to one as or, or become completely irrelevant. Basically, this is how they got the things in early beginnings going. So I'm just giving you some manipulation about in and out here, how they, how they do this stuff, how it all works. But for me, it was really, really important to understand who this granddaughter by the Kitaba is. As for Thailand, I will only I am only gonna say when it comes to Thailand, you know. Uh I is is like a five hundred year this was involved in in uh You see, uh, let me see this here. Oh shit, this already collapsed on September the 2022. Oh crap, hey. Yeah. This was involved in MK Ultra, and um, this beautiful, beautiful thing. They presented me this. They, they. Um, if it's not going to be anything with a Bayre Kitiaba and this and that. And then it's going to be this statue that will collapse and so on and so forth. Um, and uh, I loved Thailand before. And this is if this is really really beautiful place. I mean, this very very unusual place and very unusual people. Uh, and uh, I told them when they said to me that they will. They they were gonna collapse this thing themselves because they deemed it was dangerous. You can see right there. Look at that. And I th saw the news yesterday with this stuff here. And I was told when you see this, it's over. It's over. Uh, there was some other news and so on. And so I recall this. I was asking. I said. I, I told him during MK Ultra, why don't you give it to me? This, you know, why don't you just give it to me, please? You know, I wanted to have this <laughs> under MK Ultra. I had idea that, uh, as well as mine, uh, I should just bring this this home here to Slovenia and have this on the in front of the house that I could see this beautiful thing, you know. And they told me, uh, if you're gonna get married, the princess by the Kitty Abba. We're gonna we're gonna give you another one. It's gonna be more beautiful. And they told me we have many other more beautiful and back and forth like this because I was really crazy about this thing. Well, the thing about it is that uh, that is just not gonna happen. Uh, anything like this as of today uh, is the issues are just you're not worthy. One time she asked me. Yeah, I think the year was like 2002. Who do I think I am? And this and that. You know, he had a boyfriend you know, in front of the boyfriend laughing. Uh, and, well, that's exactly who I am. You are not worthy of my family tree. That's all it is. You are not worthy of my hand. You are not worthy to be part of anything when it comes to me according to your grandfather according especially according to your father you're not worthy uh, for other than take your family to the court that's all there is to it you wasted my time and that's about the worst thing you can do to the human being and you did with the worst intentions possible that's all i want to say for this video Narendra Modi, who was uh, Narendra Modi, was very cautious. <laughs> he was cautioning me. He was always cautioning me, and I was always, "Yeah, let's go, uh, let's go." Defiant, you know, uh, for Ukraine, for Poland, for Czech Republic. This is the way it is, and so on. And. Uh, it comes out after like 33 years, he was right. The man is, is a really wise man. Uh, it doesn't pay off. He was, he was always was worried about looking at me. Uh, no. 33 years, he went like this.
Thank you for watching this video. May 19, 2023.